So I thought it was, um, saw, saw some old faces tonight, and uh, <laughs> we were doing that meet and greet upstairs in the record shop, Record Breakers, if you don't know, there's a, a record shop upstairs, great record shop actually, actually, I found some, I never buy records, and I found some great stuff that I couldn't turn down at an excellent price. Uh, but that's neither here nor there, but, uh, so somebody came up and said, Hey man, how you doing? Uh, it's been 20 years. I haven't seen you. I said, who are you? He said, oh, it's Fish. Your second best bass player. I said, oh. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I remember him. So he's a little, is he up there or where is he? Is he in the balcony? He's out there somewhere. I want to get a look at this rascal. Where is he? He was the second bass player he played on the album Boogada Boogada Boogada. And uh, he was, uh, he was an interesting, I always liked Warren because he was, that's his real name, Fish is his, not, not his real name, believe it or not. But I always liked him because he, he was one of the only people I knew in punk rock who genuinely just did not give a fuck. And I mean that in the sense that he walked around wearing bell-bottom jeans. He didn't care about looking cool. He didn't care who was impressed by him. He just did his own thing. And, uh, and we really liked that, and so we asked him to join the band. So I was really happy to see him tonight. Thanks very much for coming out. And the other thing is, I'm not sure if he's here tonight or not. He wasn't sure if he's gonna be able to make it, but Brian Verman, who is our yeah! second drummer, yeah! um, was also maybe gonna come out, and he's, uh, uh, I, he came out to a show out here last year and I barely recognized him because when I know him he was a skinny 16 year old kid and uh, one of my favorite people to ever be in the band. I always liked being in the band with him. He was funny as shit. And, uh, uh, but he was a skinny you know, kid with a germs tattoo and then, and then he grew up and he got really muscular and he's big. He's not fat, he's just big and he looks like he ate the old Brian Vermin. But, but anyway, I, uh, I don't know if he's here tonight, but if he is, I wanted to give him a shout out because he was always one of my favorite people in the band and it is our 27th anniversary and I tend to, to think fondly. Some of the other people, Danny Panic really wanted to come out and, uh, and sit in with us actually, but he could not get off work. He lives out in California now and he wasn't able to work it out, unfortunately, but I'm hoping someday we can sit in with him. And, uh, no, Vapid, I think, is, um, he's on second shift at Taco Bell right now, if I remember correctly. And, uh, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, seriously, no, his manager is John Jughead. Um, but, you know, look, you don't always get along with the guys in your band, that's life. Hey, do you assholes get along with everybody you work with? No, you fucking don't, okay? But anyway, no, I, 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 uh, I have fond memories of many of the people who are in the band, including the people I don't much care for anymore. We had some fun and a lot of crazy, uh, neurotic, insane, uh, maniacal bullshit as well, which I could do without, but hey, that's life. It's been a very, very fun time, and I hope to keep doing this for a very long time. Thanks for coming out. We're almost done here, but let's play a few more songs. This is from our album, Wiggle. I always like this one. <laughs> 